spring went. We saw lots of uh, different voices at the table. Yeah, I think on the property that is near the, the Heron Rookery, uh, definitely lots of people very concerned about the Herons, and that matches the council. And the council has made a change to a property that's uh, just about 100 meters from the Rookery, and the requirement is 60. So I think we've done a good job of uh, creating a significant buffer. No one wants to see anyone disturbing the Herons. Were you happy with how, uh, how both sides of uh, this argument were presented today? I just think people are passionate, and I think that's just fine. People are absolutely passionate about this, and, and we in Vernon, people are really passionate about that rookery. So I'm glad people feel free to come to council and be passionate about it. So that's great. And I think that those who are providing uh, the reports and, and the folks who are interested in adjusting their zoning of their property, we're very honest and clear and straightforward, from my opinion, and uh, that's that's a really good process. So you're confident going forward that there's going to be uh, a well enough balance between, you know, sort of maintaining the uh, the environmental concerns as well as the development concerns. Oh yeah, the owner of the land where the rookery is, you heard her tonight. She's adamant that that stays as it is. So. Her property dominates the rookery and the buffer zone, which hasn't been previously developed. As you know, there's not much of a buffer between previous development and the rookery. Uh, two is one, uh, they're right in the border of each other. But the rest is, is her property, so she gets to control that. And uh, if she's saying she's gonna leave it the way it is, then I suspect she's gonna do as she says. It almost sounded like both sides were willing to work with each other without saying so directly. Oh. That, that, uh, Developers were interested in hearing feedback, and uh, the expert who owned the land for many years was seeming to be open to the idea of some consultation. You think that would be appropriate? Yeah, I think when you say developer, this time it's a bit different. These are the landowners. Yeah. These are the people who live on it. They have a house there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think they live on it. That's their house. That's a house there, etc. So it's not like it's a very external party that doesn't understand the situation. They're there. That's their property. They've had it for what they say a year and a half or something. So I think there's a real openness from them to make sure that the rookery stays. They see it as an asset to the to the value and use of their property, which is obviously outside the hundred meters. Except for the top little tiny corner and I, I'm sure you'll get uh, city staff being clear and clear about timing not to be doing heavy construction during the nesting period. Is it up to bylaw to monitor whether they do adhere to that? Uh, yeah, it's pretty strict though. When you're when you're building and when they come with to a building permits, etc., that's when you'll see conditions set. 